In this video, I'll be doing two different density and buoyancy experiments. I'll be recreating density and buoyancy in three different vectors utilizing motion of a contained reference frame. In the first experiment, I'll be using a container with water, a red ping pong ball, and a steel ball. The ping pong ball and the steel ball will always displace relative to the direction of the force that's applied. For example, when I accelerate the container to the right, the container pushes the water in the same direction, creating a pressure gradient. The water is then able to push anything that's less dense, like the ping pong ball, in that same direction. That is what we would call buoyancy. However, the water is not dense enough to push the steel ball like the ping pong ball, so the steel ball remains in the same position. The steel ball only appears to move in the opposite direction of the buoyant force because the camera is also moving with the container. The ping pong ball has true motion, and the steel ball has apparent motion. The same principles apply when I accelerate in any other direction. In the second experiment, I'll be using a tube with water, an air bubble, and a steel ball. To accelerate the container down, I will be using a resistance band. As you can see, when connected to the earth, we can experience a force creating density and buoyancy. The air bubble is being pushed up and the steel ball appears to move down in the opposite direction of the buoyant force. You can also see the air bubble is flattened where the force is being applied. However, when I release the container into free fall, density and buoyancy completely vanish. The air bubble is no longer being pushed up and turns into a sphere, showing that there isn't a force present in free fall. When I actually accelerate the container down, we can see density and buoyancy invert. The air bubble is being pushed down and the steel ball appears to move up. Not only does acceleration require a force, acceleration will always cause displacement of solids, liquids, and gas, proving that objects don't accelerate down in freefall.